This is the next in the series on iterative solutions with TK Solver. In this session, we'll see an example on how a block of equations can be solved repeatedly within a procedure function in TK uh, using a root finder uh, for the purposes of generating plots. This particular example involves uh, the motion of a linkage and as the uh, control arm is rotated, the resulting endpoint of the linkage uh, is calculated based on the geometry equations. We'll look at the uh, rules in this particular model. We have the geometry equations set up. Those define the uh, lengths of the arms and the points where they're connected. There are calls to functions. Uh, we'll look into those a little later. For now, I want to focus on the use of the Newton N root finding tool from the TK Solver library to solve the set of equations at any particular point. Uh, as this rotates. We see a variable here, uh, psi 0 being equal to the results of the Newton n function, where Newton n is repeatedly processing a function f. We'll look at that function f, that's our objective function, and we see that it has this block of equations in it. As with uh, all objective functions uh, that are used in the root finders, it would have a result variable, which is the error, the amount of the error in the equations. The argument variable is uh, the variable that we're trying to solve for. And then any other constants that are required during the solution process, those are passed in as parameters. So in this particular uh, set of equations, we have uh, the error term appearing here in the third equation. Another uh, item to note is that the variable phi is coming from a, a list. It's being passed into this rule function as the first element of a list. Lists in TK are similar to parameter variables except for a parameter variable they must be on the variable sheet itself. Lists, they're global. Uh, anywhere within the math model that the list exists, it can be uh, used. Those values can be shared with other things. So at the point when this rule function f is getting processed, the value of phi will come from the first element of this list, phi x. We see here on the rule sheet that phi x is getting the value of the variable phi here uh, in the rules. Looking at the variable sheet, we see that that value as input is 45. So value 45 goes into the list. It's then uh, extracted by the f function used in the Newton n process. So Newton n is used to generate a variable called psi 0. And uh, psi 0, let me check for a solution here. Calling a procedure function graph. Graph uh, initially blanks list elements. It then plots the endpoints of the bars in the linkage. Then it loops through the various angles, giving us the motion. So procedure looper, looping through input crank angles, requires these parameter variables to come from the variable sheet. The angle varies from 0 to 360 in steps of 3. 
the first step in the loop is to take that current value of phi, which is here, going from 0 to 360, and place it into that list, bx. And as we saw before, that's going to get used in the objective function. So as this procedure is looping from 0 to 360, that value of phi will keep getting changed in the objective function so that the equations are solved using the current value of phi. The Newton n function is then called in order to calculate the value of psi for that phi value. The value of psi uh, is then used, the set of equations is, uh, the rest of the set of equations is solved, and uh, the, the, the remaining uh, uh, plot variables are updated as well. And so that's how this model as this red bar is uh, rotating. That's how this model generates all of the uh, solution points that that linkage generates. This ends this session on solution of simultaneous equations using iteration.